In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of wavy text animation. I saw a similar animation on Instagram, and I wanted to recreate it inside Cinema 4D. There are different methods to achieve this effect. I'm going to show you the two ways I've found. With the first one, you have more control, and it's a bit longer to set up. Let's start by creating a text object. Go here where you have the cloner icon, left click and hold, choose text. Here you can type the word you want. Let's type banana and choose the font you like. Increase the depth, add more subdivisions so we can animate it, align it to the middle and change the size. Next, we can add a shear object. Select the text, left click plus hold here, and choose shear. Hold the shift key down to apply it directly to the text object. Align the shear on minus Z and click on fit to parent. Put the mode on unlimited, the angle at 90 degree, curvature at 700%, and check the fillet box here. Next, we want to animate the strength. At frame zero, put the strength at minus 100%. Go forward to the frame 50 and put the strength at zero. Finally, go at frame 100 and put the strength at 100%. Now we want to add a field to our shear. Go to the Fields tab here, hold down the left click, and choose the Formula field. Here on the Remapping tab, check the Invert box. Put the Inner Offset at 35%, Min at 10%, and choose Curve on the contour here. Something I forgot is to modify the animation of the shear's strength. Go to the Window menu, Timeline. Select the shear, and here on Before and After, choose Oscillate. Also, you can modify the curve here to have a smoother animation. Next, let's add a formula object. Left click and hold here. Choose formula. Go to the parameter tab on the position. Put 0 on the X and 5 on the Y. Untick the scale. On the effector tab, put 300%. Don't forget to apply the effector to the letters tab on your text object. That's it for the first method. The second one is way quicker. Duplicate the text, delete the shear, group this, and hide it. Go to the Letters tab and delete the Formula Effector. Now select the Duplicate text, go to the Deformer menu, hold down the Shift key and choose the Wind Deformer. Decrease the amplitude and the size. You can add more frequency, decrease the turbulence and untick the flag box here. Go to the coordinates and rotate 90 degree on the pitch and 90 degree on the bank. If you want to know how I created the material, you can check the video on the right up here. That's it for now. Don't hesitate to take a look at my other tutorials and time lapses. See you in my next video.